Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will explain Ampere circuit law with great clarity. Before I start with my explanation, let me tell you the outlines of this video. In this video, first of all, I'll explain basics of Ampere circuit law. After that, I'll explain few essential case studies of Ampere circuit law. And at last, I will derive equations of magnetic field intensity due to straight long wire using ampere circuit law. So let us start this video with first agenda that is basics of ampere circuit law. First of all let me explain the statement of ampere circuit law. See statement is line integrals of magnetic field intensity over closed loop is equal to total current enclosed by that loop. So here magnetic field intensity is h line integral of magnetic field intensity over closed loop that is equals to total current i enclosed by this given loop. Let me explain that by graphical understanding. Let us consider one wire over here and through this wire let us assume current i is passing. So current i that is passing in upward direction. So because of current i there will be magnetic field intensity. In my last video, I have explained biot savard law. And based on biot savard law, one can understand the direction of magnetic field intensity. Direction of magnetic field intensity that is there as per right hand thumb rule. If you keep thumb in the direction of current, then rotation of finger that is resulting into direction of magnetic field intensity. So here, if you keep thumb in the direction of current, then magnetic field intensity that is rotating like this, right? And here, as per Ampere circuit law, if you do line integral of this magnetic field intensity over enclosed loop, then that is equals to total current inside this loop. So total current inside this loop is how much? I. So line integral of magnetic field intensity over closed loop that is equals to total current passing through this wire only that is I. Right. Now let me increase the complexity. So here I will consider four different wires. Wire 1 and wire 4 that is having current in upward direction and wire 2 and wire 3 that is having current in downward direction. Now if I say magnetic field intensity that is happening like this you can observe. Then as per right hand thumb rule resultant current that should be there in upward direction. Right. So line integration of magnetic field intensity that is equals to resultant current which should be there in upward direction. So upward direction currents are I1 and I4 and opposite direction currents are I2 and I3. So line integral of magnetic field intensity over closed loop that is equals to I1 and I4 that is positive and I2 and I3 that is negative over here. Right. So total current enclosed by given loop that one can identify using line integral of magnetic field intensity as per ampere circuit law. Right. Now I'll explain you calculation of magnetic field intensity due to straight long wire. Here I will consider three different cases. In first case, I will calculate magnetic field intensity outside the wire. In second case, I will calculate magnetic field intensity on the surface of wire and in third case I will explain magnetic field intensity calculation inside the wire. So let us consider first case where magnetic field intensity that we will identify outside the wire. So let me show the diagram over here. See here we have wire and radius of wire that is rho. Let us consider current I that is passing in upward direction through this wire, right? And we will identify magnetic field intensity outside the wire means measurement point P that is outside the wire. Outside the wire, this measurement point P is having distance R with respect to axis of wire. This R is greater than rho means our measurement point that is there outside the wire. Now here if I apply ampere circuit law then 
line integral of magnetic field intensity over closed loop that is equals to total current. So here measurement point is there. So magnetic field intensity as per this current I that is happening like this, right? It is revolving like this. So here total current I that is this current I only. But what is H dot DL? See, we will be doing line integral of magnetic field intensity. At distance r, magnetic field intensity is constant and direction of magnetic field intensity and dl that is there in same direction. dl and h both are there in same direction. So dot multiplication that is having cosine component cos 0 that is 1 means h into integration of dl. Integration of dl means length of loop. Length of loop with radius r is 2 pi r. So this integration that is h into 2 pi r. h and dl is having same direction that's why dot multiplication is h into length where length is 2 pi r for enclosed loop. Right. So magnetic field intensity outside the wire that is i divided by 2 pi r. So you can say outside the wire magnetic field intensity that is decreasing with respect to distance r right h is proportional to 1 by r so if r increases magnetic field intensity decreases right now i'll explain you direction of magnetic field intensity that is there in the direction of phi and this phi that we are considering for cylindrical coordinate system let me explain how see here we have x y z coordinate where z coordinate that is there on the axis of wire magnetic field intensity that is revolving like this right it is revolving like this so magnetic field intensity that is revolving in x y plane so what is phi over here phi is angle with respect to x axis in x y plane so direction of phi that is the direction of magnetic field intensity you see magnetic field intensity that is revolving as per angle with respect to phi in x y plane now i'll explain you second case in which i will identify magnetic field intensity on the surface of wire means measurement point that is there at radius rho right let us assume current i is passing in upward direction and measurement point that is there on the surface here we will apply ampere circuit law where h dot dl that is h into total length of this circle right and here dot multiplication is there where dl and h both are there in same direction so cos 0 is 1 so you can say this integration is h into 2 pi rho see length of circle at radius rho that is 2 pi rho and if you consider measurement point on the surface then with enclosed loop total current is i only right so magnetic field intensity that is i divided by 2 pi rho so on the surface of wire magnetic field intensity is constant and again it is there in the direction of phi only right and that direction of phi that is there in x y plane with respect to x axis and that one can understand based on magnetic field intensity direction right now i'll explain you third case in third case i will consider magnetic field intensity measurement inside the wire means distance r is less than rho so here you can observe we have wire through wire current i is passing in upward direction and measurement point that is inside the wire where r is lower than rho you can observe now if i apply ampere circuit law then line integration of magnetic field intensity over closed loop that is equals to i dash now you would be thinking like here i have written i dash see i have written i dash the reason is now if you consider closed loop over here then we don't have total current enclosed i which is passing through this loop right and here this line integration of hdl that is h into 2 pi r that is h into 2 pi r right 
but what is i dash that i dash that one can understand based on cross section so if you observe the cross section then here by green color we have radius r and by yellow color we have total radius rho of this wire so rho that is having total cross section through which current is i so how much current that is passing through this green color cross section so green color cross section is having current i dash only and that current i dash that is total current into cross sectional area of radius r that is pi r square divided by total cross sectional area that is pi rho square right this pi is getting cancelled so i dash which is having radius r that is total current into r square divided by rho square let us substitute that over here now here this r and one r is getting cancelled so magnetic field intensity that is r into i divided by 2 pi rho square so here you can observe magnetic field intensity inside the wire that is directly proportional to distance i have derived outside the wire that is inversely proportional to distance now what i'll do is i'll summarize all the calculation right so here what i'll do is i'll be plotting graph of magnetic field intensity with respect to distance r where in first case inside the wire i have explained calculation of magnetic field intensity that is directly proportional to r that is r into i divided by 2 pi rho square so h is proportional to r means straight line that graph is like this right so as you increase the distance with respect to center magnetic field intensity will increase linearly inside the wire on the surface of wire i have derived it it is i divided by 2 pi rho where rho is radius of this wire and outside the wire magnetic field intensity is inversely proportional to r total magnetic field intensity is i divided by 2 pi r right so magnetic field intensity that is decreasing with respect to distance r so that is how in total magnetic field intensity variation that is happening with respect to straight long wire right so this is how one can understand total calculation of magnetic field intensity using ampere circuit law I hope you have enjoyed this session. Still, if anything you would like to share, just note it down in the comment section. I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.